So I did a thing today. What is that? Welcome back to That Bearded Shooter. My name is Josh. Today I have something that I've needed for a very long time and finally I got one. Hey, before we get started, if you could be awesome, if you go ahead and like this video and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest content. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Hi, so there's a few things that we didn't go over yesterday and I forgot about. Um, one being mainly this, I think is the only thing that we didn't look at. Uh, it says Canon since 1965. It's a 64 gun safe. It's fireproof and it says security safe. Holds up to 64 long guns, 30 minute fireproof. It is 55 inches high, 40 inches wide and 24 inches deep. Um, it says depth not including lock and handle. And it has 22.13 cubic feet of interior space and weighs approximately 590 pounds. Now, if I go to where I bought this safe from, they claim 640 pounds. So, not sure. But um, it says 30 minute fireproof rating for 1200 degrees for 30 minutes. And it says fully lined interior, it includes three adjustable height shelves and barrel set barrel rest to secure up to 64 long guns and valuables. It says holds 73 firearms, <clears throat> 64 long guns, eight handguns, one shotgun on the door, solid steel construction for maximum security, and it has a door organizer with a multi-size pockets and elastic straps. There's a lifetime warranty. It says we will repair or replace your, your safe at zero cost. In case of burglary, natural flood, or fire, it is made in Mexico, that's pretty much it. So, enjoy the video. So here's the safe. I went ahead and put some lights on the inside of it. Just these little, uh, these little lights right here. For now. I got a couple of those in there. I mean, they seem to light it up pretty well. I got one, one at the top, two, two on the right, one on the left. I'm gonna put another one on the bottom. But that's the, that's what it looks like with uh, nothing in it, without the door piece on. The door piece is right here. So I gotta put that in, and then it came with um, three shelves. It came with these. This is to plug the holes um, on the bottom there. When you get it, it's bolted down. And then here's the bolts that it came with. And then it gives you a lifetime warranty uh, thing right there. And then it comes with some shelving clips for the shelves. And three, three of these. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on now. You get three of these. Pretty heavy too. And you just screw them into place. Now we're going to put in that door piece. From what I can tell, it just slides in. So. Actually, before we do that, if anybody wanted to know what the inside of the door looks like, that's it. It's got some welds there, the three main uh, pins right there, that wire that goes to your other side for your uh, your keypad. So that's that's pretty much it. That's that's that. Okay, so let's put this door on. So I'm pretty sure. Go through there. Like that. Let's try this again. Mm, let's try this 
Got it. These just pop in down there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those in real quick. It's just a little dirty, so I'm gonna vacuum. All done. Here are the clips for the shelf. It comes with 10, so you should have five sets of those. If you're not sure how, how these hook in, so you just find whatever level you want. They're marked with numbers. You just insert the top tab into it, and then that's it. And then the shelf will hold on that. Um, I will say though, this one's on three, and that's directly across from it. And um, that one's not on three, so maybe maybe it is a little low. Well. Let's fix it. See now it looks too high. So yeah, they're not exact, but that's okay. One shelf down one shelf literally down i gotta move that other side down a notch so this side yeah this side's gotta go down a little bit good enough shelf number two is in third shelf change to just a smidge. Some of these guns I have not shown yet on the channel, such as this guy right here. But as you see, she fits in there good. I haven't seen this guy on the channel either. It's very nice. I'll do a review on this one soon. Got to clean it. It's dirty. All clear. FX9. What do y'all think? Does that look good so far? You don't see my AR-15 yet either. There's that. Yes, I know. This is on backwards. I just ran out of room. I'm getting different sites for it. Now I think we're done. Thought I had more guns than that, but I guess not. Well, there you have it. <clears throat> so far, I think I've got 17 in here. I think I have 17 in there right now. Um, and they fit fine. I mean, I know it's a 64 gun safe, but still. Like, there's, there's a lot of room in here, so I, mean, I don't think you're going to fit 64, but it says 64 long rifles, so I don't think you're going to fit 64 long rifles in there. But, uh, so far, so good. I like it. Um, so that's, that's that. I forgot to tell you guys how to change the passcode. Um, pretty much, it says, it has to be done within 20 seconds for it to work. So it says you, where is it? Oh, there it is. 
So you, it says open the safe with the factory code one two three four five six. That's the code, the factory code for these safes. Then it says leave the door open and rotate the handle in the locked position so that the bolts are visible. Pretty much so you don't lock yourself out. So you want to keep the door open so you don't lock yourself out. Uh, and then press and hold zero until you hear a double beep. Then the LED will come on and then three to steps, the next step's got to be done in 20 seconds. Which is you enter the existing six digit code, you'll hear a double beep. And then you enter the new six digit code and you'll hear another double beep. And then re-enter the new six digit code and you will hear a double beep. And then you test it, see if it works. If it works, um, then you did it uh, right. If it doesn't work, it'll be a long single beep, and then the old code is still the code. So then just repeat the steps. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm actually going to try this while I'm on camera. Factory code, it's unlocked. Wait for it to come off, okay. And then you hold zero. Okay. There it is. And then the new one. Okay, and then. Okay, and then we'll try the new code. It works. Cool. That's it. Pretty simple. Thanks for watching. Y'all be safe. Have a good one.